Hello and good morning, my name is Neil and before you, you see a Vauxhall Astra 1.6 16-valve comfort model. Five-door version, factory-fitted LPG on this car. Gives it congestion charge exemption in London. Very cheap running costs, runs on LPG at 53p per litre. Has a range of around 250 miles and drives very well indeed. It's quite a lively uh, engine, this 1.6. And I ran one of these myself personally for a, uh, a year and a half. And the one I sold it, it had two, uh, 145,000 miles on it. So it should have plenty of legs to go in it. Yep, it's done just 104,000 miles, just under. Now this has had uh, three uh, keepers. Um, one was uh, John Lewis, the department store as a company car. And then the two pre private keepers from there were both employees of uh, John Lewis. The uh, car is finished in metallic black and has a few extras on it, like uh, an Irmisha uh, gear knob and front grille. The car is in relatively good condition. It has a few minor marks and scratches, but nothing really to worry about too much. Alas, the tax has just expired on the vehicle, and uh, we can renew that for you at the local post office if you come in office hours. I've driven the car for about 25 miles. It drives very well. The LPG f works without fault. And I'll show you that a bit more about that in a minute. So tyre-wise, we've got sort of brand new tyres on the front. I can see that the brake pads are about uh, oh, about two thirds to go on the front there. The rear tyres are Continental. That's about uh, about half worn, and I, that's got drums on the back there. Rear wash wiper, high-level brake light, dual fuel, as it says on the back there. There is uh, a Michelin on this side, and that's about half worn as well. There's the petrol filler cap and there's the LPG filler cap. Now there is some odd blotches on the uh, paintwork here. Just some little circles. Looks like it may have been splashed with some paint or something, but uh, I'll endeavour to get that off. Again, this side's quite clean. Just a few minor marks and scratches, as you'd expect with 104,000 on. And a new set of tyres on the front, again. The screen's all good. It's very comfortable inside. Hence <laughs> the comfort model. It does have four electric windows remote central locking, electric mirrors, nice velour upholstery and the seats are all in good order. It does have carpet mats in the car as well. Let's just jump in a second. Now that buzzer you can hear is just because there's a key in the ignition. The car's got ABS brakes and showing 103 782. The car starts well and the air conditioning blows nice and cold. The car has a CD player as well, has a radio and FM, AM tuner, centre console's in good order. It does have this rather nice uh, Irma Scher designed gear knob. The car has a non spoker all the way through its life. The steering wheel is in really good order. It has a leather type steering wheel as per comfort and uh, fingertip control hi fi. Airbags times two. Has the ultrasonic power sound alarm system as well. And the LPG system is very easy to operate. There's just a little switch, two position switch. It starts on uh, petrol. When the temperature of the engine coolant reaches 10 degrees, it will then switch automatically over to LPG. And it flashes a little bit and then goes solid. And that means that you're on LPG. Now, the uh, gauge itself is a uh, dual purpose gauge. It basically monitors both your petrol and your LPG at the same time. So once you're on petrol, Oh, sorry, once you're on LPG, it just re registers the amount of LPG. And with a car like this, you'll normally find that you just use it on LPG as much as possible to help with the running costs. 53 pence a litre, the cost of LPG is down at Moncton Coombe Garage. And you will get this car with a brand, well, with a full tank of LPG included in the price. So, metallic black Comfort O2 registration in decent order with a few miles on it, but... Uh, Still plenty of legs and life left in that, I would say. Uh, we have sold them with uh, over 150 on before, but uh, as I said, my experience has been 145,000 miles, and mine was running really nicely still. Let's go and have a quick look at the history. Okay, welcome to the history then. So we've got the service book, the audio manual, instruction booklet, the uh, owner's manual, the radio code is present and correct, and along with the key numbers, etc. And there is a spare remote key just like that, which uh, is in the safe at the moment, unfortunately, so I can't show you it, but we do have a remote uh, key. Now, the service book 
has got plenty of stamps in it. I can just find out where it starts. There we go. So the service book goes 17, 37, 59, all done at AA Clark, and you'll probably notice the uh, plates on the car from AA Clark. Uh, 70, 90,000 miles, 7th of the 9th, 07, the cam belt was done, and at 100,000 miles, last service was completed, 3rd of the 6th, 08. There's the B5 showing three keepers in total, and the last keeper was a lady and registered to her in November 2006. The MOT status, nice long MOT, June the 27th, 2009, done at 102, 695, and no advisory notices. We do have old MOTs as well, three old MOTs, 86,000 miles, 72,000 miles, and 55,000 miles done in 2005. And there is plenty of receipts and bills. There's the certificate of conformity to run with the car. And then AA Clark bills and things. Um, that was done at 90. These are just parts, actually. There is a service printout where the cam belt was done at 55,000 miles. That was from when it was uh, running with the fleet operator. You often get these uh, printouts via fleet operators. And uh, last... Uh, bill I've got here is 103,746, uh, just done actually really, that was to do with um, uh, a slight running problem with the LPG, that's been sorted now, it's just, uh, 176 pounds, cam belt kit was 206, and uh, there's a receipt from that from AA of Bra uh, Clark of Bracknell, another bill 108, and uh, 273, that was a new radiator done at 98,000 miles. And then again, we've got just LPG certificates, etc. Mobile windscreen, in fact. Right, okay, there we go then, so a nice complete service history. Do you?